you know what, at this point, I can't even pretend to be surprised. I cannot act surprised. I am not even slightly surprised. And especially not to hear the fact that the people trying to expose Roblox this time is yet another news article. So without wasting any time at all, I want to read this news article to you and I want to tell you just how stupid I think this actually is. So first, please leave a like on this video and subscribe. Now, the first thing that I want to mention is upon seeing this news article for the first time, I genuinely thought this was something to do with those two exposing videos made by People Make Games because I've made a couple of videos talking about those and whilst I do think those videos had some pretty concerning information that a lot of people need to listen to, they were also very flawed. But this news article, I think it kind of raises the same issues that those videos did, but in such a terrible way and in a way that I kind of just have no idea why they are making it sound so much worse than it actually is. And I mean, so unbelievably far-fetched that pretty much the entire Roblox community is reacting super negatively towards this news article for the most obvious of reasons. But the first time I saw anything about this was from the RTC and they said that The Guardian has exposed Roblox in their recent article, The Trouble with Roblox, the video game empire built on child labour. And I think from the title of this news article alone, you can probably already guess just how terrible and even laughable this is about to be. Like this news article is deadly serious, 100% serious, and people are having a hard time believing that this is something that was seriously written and put out there, not as a joke, but as something serious. But without further ado, the article itself is very, very long, but it starts off by saying, Anna was 10 when she built her first video game on Roblox, a digital platform where young people can make, share and play games together. She used Roblox much like a child from previous generation might have used cardboard boxes, marker pens and stuffed toys to build a castle or a spaceship and fill it with characters and toys. See, here's the thing with that being in this article, let alone being the very first line of this article, saying that someone was 10 when they created their first game on Roblox. To someone who is not familiar with Roblox, somebody who doesn't know what Roblox is, that would sound absolutely insane. Can you imagine going to someone who doesn't understand what Roblox is and doesn't understand how games are created on Roblox and telling them, when I was 10 years old, I created a video game? Because honestly, from their perspective, that's going to sound like a much bigger deal than it actually is. I can go to my created games right now and the first ever game that I created on Roblox was all the way back in 2011 when I was also 10. The game was called Fun Fair. The description, come, bring your family, have fun, go on rides for free. So I can also say I created a game on Roblox when I was 10. It's not that big of a deal. It's not a good game, but still, it's a game. Roblox began to advertise itself as a way for young game makers to make money. On its website, it adopted the slogan, make anything, reach millions, earn serious cash. The company encouraged users to create and sell costumes and accessories for Roblox avatars. These items, the digital equivalent of doll's clothes, could be bought using Robux, the platform's digital currency, which the company currently sells at a rate of about 80 to the pound. Roblox took a 30% cut from the sale of each pair of virtual sunglasses or sports car. The rest went to the original creator and the seller. See, here's the thing. And like I said, a lot of this was also raised in the videos uploaded by People Make Games, but the thing with this news article is I don't understand why they are bringing up half of the things that they are bringing up and especially to the severity that they are trying to make it seem because after reading this for myself, I personally think that most of the stuff in this article is extremely far-fetched and like I said, it's very long, so I'm not going to read everything here. But like I also mentioned, the majority of the Roblox community has not reacted to this article in a pleasant manner. Many are upset at the way the article portrays Roblox. There is a small minority that agrees with the purpose and the message of the 
the article. Okay, I know that a lot of people are reacting to this article without reading it, so I suggest that you do read it for yourself before trying to form an opinion or give your thoughts on it, because I just think criticism's invalid until you actually know what's going on. But at the same time, I can also understand why some people are becoming, like, so tired with seeing people and specifically news articles created like this about Roblox. And especially when the title of the news article alone is making it seem so much more extreme than the real situation actually is. Like, they used such severe wording when it's nothing, like, it doesn't even come close to that. Just to put this entire thing into perspective, I think my favourite reply that I've seen to the RTC so far is this person saying that most popular games on Roblox are made by adults, which is absolutely true. But once again, please just read this article for yourself before forming your own opinions on this, but what I think and what the majority of the Roblox community thinks right now is this is very far-fetched and some people think that it's just mostly untrue or at least this has to be a joke. And of course, as always, once you do read this for yourself or if you have already read it for yourself, please tell me your opinions in the comments below. I would really love to hear what you guys think about this as well. So, one more time, please and make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe because I will always appreciate the love and support that you guys give me and you know what? It helps me out a lot. But anyway, getting of Roblox getting exposed once again, this time it's yet another news article. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.